Hi everyone, I'm Doug from DigiPen in Redmond. In this video, we'll talk about how the movement speed of a game's hero affects how much fun the game is. Let's take another look at the game we played in the previous video. In Crystal Cat, most of the fun of playing comes from how it feels to make the hero move and jump. These actions depend on three things movement speed, jump speed, and the strength of gravity. We'll talk about jump speed and gravity later, but for now, let's look at movement speed. Movement speed is a number that controls how fast the hero moves in Crystal Cat. When you hold the right arrow key, the hero moves to the right. And when you hold the left arrow, the hero moves to the left. The game uses its movement speed number to know how fast the hero should move. The movement speed in Crystal Cat is 250 units per second. This means that when you hold the right arrow key for one second, the hero moves 250 units to the right. If it were a bigger number, like 500, then the hero would move faster. If it were smaller, like 100, the hero would move more slowly. Let's look at this another way. Here is the hero moving to the right. After one second goes by, the hero is right here. Now, here's the hero again, but this time the movement speed is bigger. After one second, look how much farther the hero has gone. Controlling the hero's movement speed is an important part of making the game fun, and making the game fun is the main goal of the game designer. This means that the game designer needs to pay careful attention to the movement speed of their game. In Crystal Cat, if the movement speed is too low, then it will be difficult for the player to collect the crystals, and they will feel frustrated. If it's too high, then the game might be too easy. If it's really high, then it will be hard to control the hero. To make the game as fun as possible, the game designer must find a number that feels fun while still providing a good challenge to the player. Now it's your turn to play the role of game designer. Let's find a good movement speed number for Crystal Cat by working with a modified version of the game. Click the link in the description below, and then find the project called Crystal Cat Movement. In this version of Crystal Cat, the game begins by asking the player what the movement speed should be. After you answer the question, the game starts with that number stored as the new movement speed. This means you can use any number you like. After you type your number, either press the Enter key or click the checkmark button on the right side of the window. Watch what happens when we use a movement speed of 1000. Whoa! That's fast. Maybe we should go with something slower. To start again and use a new number, click the green flag. When you play this version of the game, you'll find that you can't jump. This keeps things simpler while we experiment with the movement speed number. Don't worry, in this version of the game, all of the crystals appear at the ground level, so you never have to jump anyway. So what do you think the best movement speed might be? It's fun to move quickly, so let's try a large number. Click the green flag to start the game. The ordinary movement speed is 250, so let's try twice that speed. In the text window, type the number 500, and press Enter or click the check mark. Play the game with this speed. As you play, think about whether you like it at this new speed. 
When the game is complete, think about what it felt like to play with this movement speed. Was it too fast? If it was, try again with a slower speed. Was it too slow? If so, use an even faster movement speed. Let's say we want to make it a bit slower. Click the green flag and start again, but this time, let's use a smaller number. Type the number 100 in the text window and press enter or click the check mark. Play the game again. See how much slower it is? The game might feel a little harder now. When the game ends, think back on how it felt to play. The hero moved more slowly, and maybe it was a little harder. Was it less fun? Maybe you think the slower movement speed made the game more boring. Or was it more fun? Maybe it's more satisfying when you finally reach a crystal if it takes longer to get there. Play this version of Crystal Cat a few more times on your own. First, play with a speed of 800. When you're done, play again with a speed of 200. When that's finished, play again with any speed you want. Try to find a speed that you think feels really fun. Let's recap what we've learned in this video. First, we learned that most of the fun of Crystal Cat comes from moving and jumping. Then, we learned that moving and jumping depend on three things, movement speed, jump speed, and the strength of gravity. Next, we looked closely at how the movement speed number is used to move the hero side to side. Finally, we played with a modified version of Crystal Cat and experimented with different numbers for movement speed. In the next video, we'll examine the hero's jump speed in Crystal Cat.